These are both weird and small, but not rare. In fact, their numbers can reach a million per cubic meter. Obviously, they are very small. Springtails are only distantly related to insects and are now put in their own class. Silverfish are wingless insects with incomplete metamorphosis that have three tail-like appendages and mandibles for mouth parts. They feed on starchy substances, such as found in books, wallpaper, and clothing. Outside the house, silverfish are found under rocks and in leaf litter. Sometimes called bark lice, these very small insects have four membranous wings that are held tent-like over their body. However, some species are wingless. Metamorphosis is incomplete. Bark lice have long, many-segmented antennae, two to three segments of the tarsi, mandibles, and a swollen bump on the head. Too much head budding. Some of the smallest insects are the thrips. These minute insects live on plants and inside flowers. And just to give you an idea how small they are, we're going to show you one, but not in this flower, in this one. They're really, really, really small. While most thrips are so small that your grandmother can't even see them, some tropical species reach almost half an inch. One distinctive feature is the fringe on their wings. Thrips feed on plant juices, so they can be agricultural pests. For more insect fun, scope out the flowers in your neighbor's garden. Hanging flies belong to a bizarre order called Mycoptera. They aren't flies, since they have four wings, but they do look like large crane flies. They hang out a lot, and obviously they can't walk on flat surfaces. Hanging flies hang from their front legs, and their hind legs are equipped with raptorial tarsi to grab unsuspecting soft-bodied insects. The victim is then sucked dry of all its goodness. And of course, their wing venation is very distinctive. These insects do not come from the planet Zoroptera. In fact, they may live in rotting stumps in your backyard. Zoropterans feed on fungal spores, but they're also known to eat small dead arthropods. These gregarious, minuscule creatures look like termites, but they have nine segmented antennae, short cerci, and two segmented tarsi.